The greatest threat to health in this millennium is wireless technologies without a doubt. What do I mean by wireless technologies? Well, wireless technologies are microwave ovens, cell phones, baby monitors, and Bluetooth. If you look at the health of the cell, the most important thing about the cell is a cellular membrane. And there's receptor sites on the cellular membrane. And these receptor sites literally keep bacteria out, viruses out, and they keep microwaves out. And what happens is when the microwaves start to come into the cell, the receptor sites shut down. And it's literally saying, stay out because you're toxic. What happens though, is we're exposed to the wireless forever. We drive along the highway, we encounter cell phone towers, we use our cell phones, we use computers. There's people that talk in restaurants and on airplanes and everybody has cell phones. So the problem is you can't escape the wireless. So here's what happens, in sensitive people, and there's a lot of sensitive people out there, we're seeing a lot of chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia syndromes, we have no idea why they're caused, they're caused by electropollution. Because after the, the cells become shut down, from the wireless, when they shut down, they don't allow the wireless to come in, but they keep hormones out, they keep vitamins out, they keep minerals out, and waste products stay in the cell. So the cell ages prematurely. When that happens, there's an influx of bacteria, we call them microbes, into the cell. And then the voltage of the cell goes down and it becomes sick. This is why our bodies get sick. Heavy metals will do it, trans fats will do it, chemicals will do it, but wireless is the number one cause of inflammation of these cells. And when this happens, people get sick. So they go to the doctor saying, oh, I'm wireless. No, they don't say that. They come in and say, I have headache. I have chronic fatigue syndrome. My muscles are screaming. I have no energy. I have heart disease. I have cancer. This is what the wireless causes over time. How do you fix it? Awareness is curative. You must determine if you're being exposed to wireless. How do you find out? Well, here in this table, I have an electrosmog detector. I'm being photographed right now and I'm being mic'd. And this is the background. Look what happens when I bring my mic. That's a wireless, folks. Now, that's pretty bad. I don't have it next to my heart. I have it, you know, close to my body but it's not affecting my internal organs. Down here, it's affecting, it's affecting me, and you can hear that. But that's a wireless device. Now, if I was lecturing in front of you in the audience, I certainly would not put this next to my heart, which a lot of people do. As a heart specialist, you're, you're treading dangerous waters. Now, what else does the wireless affect? Well, certainly the phones. Now, I have a sort of a healthy phone here, and I'll try to make a call uh, on this phone. And uh, basically, uh, I'm going to make this call. And the call's going through. You can hear it. This is next to your ear. This is three feet away. This is a healthy phone. So if I use the speakerphone here, I'm getting a little radiation. But if I put it up to here, I'm getting a lot of radiation. This is an unhealthy phone. You can hear it. This is radiation. Now, look, I can't get away from this phone. My arms need to be 60 feet long to get away from this. This whole room is being toxic. I gotta shut this off. I'm shutting this off, basically, because this is poisoning my body and everybody in the room. If your monitor is showing a 3G, that's a healthy wireless network. If it's showing an E or an edge, I call that evil. Do not accept a phone call. Do not use your phone. Get away from it. There is research to show that cell phones are the most common cause of tinnitus. What is tinnitus? It's ringing in the ears, the most common cause of deafness. And in Europe, in Europe, scientists have determined that in children ages 5 to 18 have a much higher incidence of brain cancer than their age-controlled counterparts. So what are we to do? Number one, be aware of the toxicity of the wireless environment. Awareness is curative. Take supplements like vitamin C, nanokinase, text. All my kids text me messages. I don't want to talk to them on a cell phone. I don't want them to get the radiation, and I don't want the radiation. But look, if you have to use a cell phone, and we have to use them, don't place it next to your ear. Put it on a speakerphone. Speak 30 inches away. Talk this way. The hand's going to get a little radiation, but it's not going to go into your brain. And remember, the younger the person, the more radiation into the brain. So you mothers out there who have toddlers next to you, who are, who are pushing toddlers in a, in a carriage, and you're on the phone, and this phone's out here, it's going into your children. So again, awareness is curative.